Hi everyone, I was going to go out for the weekend. It's Friday, but the market started tanking today. We had an amazing session this morning with our guys. We were talking about looking at the SMCI, NVIDIA for a warning on the overall stock market. Let me show you. We did it very well with the group this morning. And especially this afternoon, we enter a lot of SPY positions that have done about 10K. But most importantly, is what's next? What's coming next for the market? Do we have a market crash or do we have a pullback? So let's go, let's go deep, everybody. So let me show you what I saw this morning and, and the type of trades we took. So I'm coming this morning and I'm like, they are gapping up and they keep on going up, 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 up to the edge of the calculator. At the meanwhile, we have the probability power calculator patented that goes a 91% chance of a short. So I'm like, this thing, this thing is really extending. Then we have the extensions here, those blue dashes, and the final goal here at 529, 530. So I'm like, oof, this is really, really extended. But here's what I'm noticing. I'm noticing a couple of synergy coming into the morning. The volume indicator started showing net seller, net seller, net seller right there, see? Between 10 and uh, 9.30 and 10.30. While the price was making new highs to the 100% edge, buy on blue, sell on purple. Remember, it's systematic and we are extended. So I started a small size on the put side at the 5.17, right? small size and then i added a little bit and i really did not re-enter the chart so look here the replay if i remove all pay attention there was other also some other synergy that i saw in the morning top of the bond if the bond goes down then the rate goes up and feel but goes back up also i was looking at the vix here see vix right there and i was noticing the vix kept on holding the open price i kept on holding the open price it kept on going sideways. And then finally around this 10.30, 10.40, it starts pushing up, right? So VIX started pushing up. So VIX starts pushing the up. Bond starts pushing down. And the volume indicator was already selling off here, net seller, as we make the new highs. This is where I know there's something that is about to brew. Also, look here. Bottom of the door, the door went to blue, buy on blue, sell on red, right? So we buy on blue the door, which means if they buy the door, they buy defense. If the door goes up, then the entire market goes down, it's risk off. So I started feeling there around the 10.30 mark, the risk off. And you can see, I'm putting my uh, um, money where my mouth is. If you go back to the account, and you look at the 10K was done, and you look at the fields, you look that around 10.30, right, see here, I'm starting to accumulate the puts right there. So at the bottom of my screen, people, you can see I'm starting to buy the 5.17 at 82 cents, 76 cents. 72 cents, 86 cents. Do you realize... I will show you later on how those were sold above $4, almost $5. That's 5x, 5x your rate of return. So look at this. So I keep on having a uh, struggling with my pen today. But let's go clear that. Now, notice that I, I did a little bit of position just up to 11.06 here. See, I started buying all this stuff fairly cheap here, right? The, the uh, 517 and the 515, and that's it. And if you look here, I had a very small position as a matter of like three, four, five. But then the market tank, tank, tank and confirm. And then look, between 238 and 247, this is where I came back strong. And I started positioning the ones for next week, the 520s and the 
15th from next week, seven days out. And then I started also positioning the 515 and a bunch of things, the 514, the 513. And notice at the top here, where I start getting out of everything, even from the morning trade. So look here, we start getting out of the 515, 516, 513, and look at the ones from the morning, that was 517, <laughs> that I bought at 82 cents and something like that here. Like incredible exit, guys. Because if you look at the charts, then look, now you play the replay, you show the market, and boom, look at the top. It's game over. This thing goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. So now we're going to stop where I re-enter around the 2.48, 3 o'clock. So it goes down, it goes down all the way to about 5.11, which was the law of the day. Here, boom. That's the law of the day. Then I am usually eating or busy. And here we go. Look here, the three o'clock. The three o'clock here, we do retest all the volume indicator resistance line here. Those ladders that I call. So I know at one point here in that circle, we're going to reject again. And this is where I re-enter. So see, I didn't get it perfect in the morning, but I got it perfect in the retest lower high, right? And you play it again and boom. And you clean that up and now it rejects again. And this is the mo the afternoon sell off from the 414, 415 back again to the 511. And boom. So let, let me show you something cool. I, I took a small video earlier on when it was happening. You can see here, let's opening up the calls that I was talking to you, and you can see them in action with the Gazo. Look, I played the Gazo. And so if you look at the Gazo, you can see those 417 zero day to expiration right there. Look, those that make four times your money. You can see them. Those are the morning ones. And you can see in action there around whatever, two o'clock or three o'clock, whatever it was. Three to three three to three thirty. Right? And I took I took a replay for you between three thirty and four here yeah. of what was going on. So it's really, really cool. And this is where asymmetrical bet. And $87 goes to $470 sometimes, you know? And it's very hard to get those, by the way. It's very, very hard to get those. And it's better to trade them with small account. I was telling the guys $2,500 to $5,000 is really what you need to master the SPY because everything else should be an asset. Asset that provides income, an asset that you can or keep for the long term, because if you are wrong with asset, time is on your side. Obviously, in those trades, time is not on my side, but look, where are you going to get a 5x? Even cryptos have our time to make a 5x and will have our time. So with the SPY, a lot of time you have 10%, 20%, 50%, and you can go up to 5x on crazy days after such a huge run, run up, right? So another thing I was looking today was SMCI and NVIDIA. I told my guys, watch SMCI and NVIDIA. I should have made $10,000 on SMCI. I lost 380. So see, everything is not perfect, but I nailed the SPY using SMCI and NVIDIA as a bet. I saw SMCI rejecting the 1220. I saw NVIDIA rejecting the 960. And that helped me confirm everything else that I was showing you on the SPY. Now, where do we go from there, okay? If you missed and coming into next week, because it's kind of an emergency video, really. We are at a critical moment for the market. So let me go back to the power indicators and we'll go into one chart. So we just focus on one chart and we'll go. First, we are going to go on the ZN. This is the, the, the ZN range that I'm telling you to watch and watch and watch 
for the next couple of weeks. So here's what's happening on the Z end, the bones. You are going to have this head. I don't think we'll ever retest this head and you have this shoulder. And I think what we are doing is playing that shoulder. So you, if you look the symmetry here from September 22 to let's say May uh, 23, you have about six, seven months of playing that shoulder. And I think what's going to happen is we are going to play that shoulder. So we went up, we might go back down to the, the 108, uh, what is that shoulder low? Yeah, 108. And we play that resistance 108, 115, 108, 115, 108, 115. Eventually, they are going to decrease rates and this is going to break. And this is going to go towards the resistance of 120 on this edge of this calculator. And I don't think I'll go past here to tell you the truth, the 125. So I think we are going to have then on the break, the 120, 125. But in the meanwhile, you have to look that if the market pulls back, look at this 108 area on the bond to this 111 range, 114, right? Sorry, 111, 108, 114. So that's number one huge chart to pay attention. Let's go to chart number two, which is the most important for me since I trade SPY options, SPX and ES and NQ. That's the only thing pretty much that I day trade if I day trade anything because everything else should be, again, swing trading and long-term investing with 90% plus of your portfolio, guys. 90 to 93% of your portfolio. Now, you look at the SPY, and I was showing you even on the last stream Wednesday, that this, this thing starts bumping. And not only did it bump into the structure, structure channels today, but it bumped into our red dashes and our edges of the calculator. So I have a triple convergence. One, the structure channel, top, was reached today. Two, I got the institutional red zones power indicator. Those are the most powerful power zones that we have. Three, we have buy on blue, sell on purple edge. Four, we had a 91% chance of success of a short. So do we retrace all the way to here, 507, the bottom of this range? If we crack the 507, we go all the way to 587. That's it. So this is what you have to look for coming into Monday. Are they going to have the firepower to break this first channel, 408, 407? Second break is here. 486 and last breaks 475. And then we come to the moment of truth of the video here. Because if it breaks the 475 here, now you have a serious pullback that could go all the way to the 455. And by the way, this is a cycle pullback buy. Higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, elections coming, maybe new president, maybe new hope, new cycle 2024-2028 type of thing, four-year cycle. All of this area, the 475, 455, would be a fantastic, fantastic opportunity before the next cycle top. Because if we do like in 1929, we top, in 2029, well, you really want to be out of all your assets, almost of your assets by 2029, uh, 2028 uh, area. Okay? I love you, everybody. I hope it was helpful. Last but not least, we didn't address that case scenario. Let's say we come Monday and they regain that 515, 516. Then all games is over. I am not touching because it could go to the top again and do a blow up top all the way to 530, right? Because then I have the second edge 530. So to me, number one, coming into Monday, we need to be below 515. We need to approach the 508 during the week. And if we crack the 508, we're on our way to 488. If we crack that, you know now, 475, we crack that, 
450. And that's it. This is huge buy opportunity here. Okay. I love you, everybody. I hope it was helpful. This is what I'm looking for next week. I thought it was an important video to jump in for the weekend. There will not be even a thumbnail. It's like, boom, jump and do until uh, my team can get to a thumbnail. You take care, everybody. You have an awesome weekend and hope it helps.